Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to monthly VR overview. Today we have something different because from the official news, nothing new from the gaming department releases unless there's gonna be some surprise. And going with a trend that I review pretty much everything that releases on the Quest Store nowadays, except for the business stuff because who am I to say what's proper and professional? Like I know my chair when I sit on in the community. <laughs> Let's see what's up with this application. So monthly seems to be like a practice tool to encourage people training their oral skills in different languages. Now I'm pretty sure from the first impressions it's not like you're gonna learn a new language from basics with this application. Writing skills and grammar stuff like it's hard to implement something like that in the digital format when it's not gonna get boring too fast. Mondly apparently takes approach of you already acquire skills in conversations whether it's in the train station, restaurant, hotel, wherever you need to interact with other people in order to get what you want essentially. Personally I speak three languages. I live in Paris, France. Every day French is my primary language. English is kind of like my life language I would assume. Even though my origins are from Poland I don't use this language language at all because it's not useful in the other countries. It's like really trash. <laughs> and I'm not like being anti-patriotic even though they're specialists in bringing themselves down. For the sake of testing out this application I'm gonna essentially be switching French and English in the video. I'll try a little bit Polish but just because there's an option. I don't care about this language. Also I'm not like a specialist in French either. Like I live here as a questionable person in the community but my accent is mm, garbage and it's not like I can't do the accent. I just can't be bothered with it. <laughs> so I'm interested if this application even recognizes my voice and essentially French native speakers. So this will be a nice experiment. Let's go for the chit chat. Okay, so we are greeted by this screen. I want to learn French and I guess we'll see with intermediate. I use it, but I don't know how advanced the skill will be there. I speak English. I want to learn French. Okay. It's split between vocabulary and conversation. I guess this is just going to be a single word pretty much. Yeah. Let's do conversation and see. Dear friend, I'm not... Okay. Oh, this is an animation. We are going somewhere. Polyglot International Airport. Is it a real airport? Good afternoon, this is your captain speaking with just a little flight information. Coming up on the left, we're going to be catching a glimpse of the Grand Canyon. On the right, you can be able to see the... Hey. <laughs> Wait, this is way different than I expected, what the hell? This is like a visual novel storytelling something. <laughs> bon -midi. Hi, are ready to explore your new Mount DVR app? Let's go. Here you see what your interlocutor says. Hover the text below to see the translation in your native language. Listen again, but pointing at the orange button. Bon it's a good accent. Here you will say what you can say. I wonder if I can say stuff other than that. If the system picks up or something. We'll try. Hover the suggestion to see the translation in your native language. Listen to the suggestions by pointing at the indicator button. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Here you will receive feedback on what you said. You can talk when the microphone indicator becomes visible. If the dots are red, it means your interlocutor is listening to you. If the dots are blue, it means your interlocutor is thinking of what to say next. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Tap and hold on the controller and say Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Here you see what you just said. Oh, interesting. I wonder if it picks up literally everything. Très bien. Merci. Quel est votre nom? Je m'appelle David. Et toi? I didn't say Enchanté. à toi. Enchanté. Comment allez-vous? Bien, à vous? Je suis heureuse de l'entendre. D'où venez-vous? I guess my accent picks up A, ah, but I say E. So that's what I was kind of worrying about. Je suis heureuse de l'entendre. D'où venez-vous? She uses professional French, which is like sometimes it's obnoxious to speak in public because I learned that as well, but it's not practical at all if you're going to the bar or something. Je viens de Pologne, et vous? It's correct, okay. Génial. Je vis à New York. Okay. Est-ce que vous aimez lire? Est-ce que vous aimez... What? Est-ce que vous aimez lire? Do you like reading? Yeah. Pas vraiment. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour, monsieur. <laughs> Avez-vous un billet? Oui, ici. Voilà. Merci. Je vous souhaite bon voyage. Quelle heure est-il? What? Quelle heure est-il? Ah, because the questions have inverted things, just like in English. Sometimes it's too confusing to like hear it like in rapid speed. That's why I don't like professional way of French language because the casual one is way different in terms of understanding. What time is it? Um, do we have a clock? What are we actually hassled with a baggage? Madame, it's not yours. <laughs> I don't see the hours, so let's say the actual one. Said so this never cancel. 
Parlez lentement. What? Well, I don't know what's the time. The text there is blurry. I see the temperature, I think. But not the hour. Okay, well, these are. Bien. I said these are. Nous arriverons dans la soirée. Si je dors, réveillez-moi, s'il vous plaît. D'accord. Bon rêve. Merci. Where's the second Ce part? C'est un plaisir de parler avec vous. Okay, well, at least I have three stars, bitch. So I guess it's not picking up everything that I say, but like the overall context it gets. If I switch the languages, it's gonna be just French person wanting to get English, so we don't have to try that because my English accent is okay, like compared to the French one. <laughs> Should we do real fast Polish? Okay, if I have to. <laughs> and let's do maybe shopping. I don't know. Dzień dobry. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's actual accent Polish one. Dzień dobry. <laughs> I mean... Czego pan sobie życzy? Szukam koszulki dla siebie. Proszę powtórzyć. What? It's not what I search? Okay, you know. <laughs> Chciałbym kupić jeansy. W jakim ma być kolorze? <laughs> Czarne. Mów powoli. What? That was slowly. Who wants to buy jeans in orange? Biały, proszę. Proszę zaczekać. Sprawdzę. Okay. Nie rozumiem. <laughs> See, that's why this language is trash. Dobrze. Czy chciałaby pani przymierzyć mniejszy rozmiar? I'm not a woman. What? Would you like to try a small size? <gasps> Bitch, I'm fat? Nie. Doskonale. Okay, I guess we have the thing in our hands. Gdzie mogę to zmierzyć? Przepraszam. Gdzie mogę przymierzyć ten ciuch? Proszę powtórzyć. Yeah, like this game has the outlines and you have to kinda be in between of those because anything more complicated it doesn't really pick up, which I guess is fair because that's what I've been saying. It's hard to implement language applications because of the various vocabulary you can think of. Gdzie jest przebieralnia? W tamtą stronę. Którą stronę? Nie słyszę <laughs> pani przez ten hałas. Nice! What nice! Ile tego kosztuje? Okay, it doesn't pick up the second word. 75. What bitch? Where am I? In Gucci? Przemyślę to, dziękuję za pomoc. Nie ma za co. Miłego dnia. Cześć. Nie rozumiem. Ach, what a trash language. Do widzenia. Na razie. Back to French. Oh, what? Okay, let's go home. So let's switch back to this and then do vocabulary. Let's do fruits. Hey, it's good to be back. Let's learn about fruits. First, I'll show you a fruit rich in vitamin C. These are oranges. In French, an orange is une orange. An orange. Une orange. Now let's see what fruit today keeps the doctor away. An apple. To say an apple, you say Une pomme. An apple. Une pomme. This is going great. Now, could you repeat after me? Une pomme. That didn't sound quite right. Content? Let's try that again. Okay, that's not my accent, okay? <laughs> Une pomme. That doesn't seem right. I guess it is better to do the conversations then because it doesn't pick up like single words, only like sentences that make sense. They're attacking my accent, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I mean, if we're going by technology itself, it doesn't pick up nearly as much as it should, I feel like. Maybe it's due to my accent, like it can always be a problem for the program to understand different people with just different way of speaking. Maybe it's programmed for like one, two, very generic way of pronunciation and stuff. But judging from what I've tried, it works like 50% of the time, which I don't think it's a good percentage if we're talking about learning language. I do like we have sections with conversations separated like by the storyline or just the most common situations that you can find yourself in. Again, because of the picking up, the short vocabulary that I've tried doesn't really pick up as well, so I don't know. It might be a really great way to get familiar with other languages, like it's a ton. I think 29, 30, something like that. So like the selection is pretty excellent, though execution is, I guess, mediocre at this point. I don't really need like practice in French currently. I would use this application a ton back in the day when I was not going out and hanging out with French community basically. Nowadays I'm just too comfortable with the language that I just live like a normal person because I used to stay at home and speak English all the time. Now it's the actual reverse. So we'll see if they will like upgrade technology wise the execution of just picking up the microphone and different accents then maybe this is gonna be worthwhile but even though for 10 bucks like you get a lot of language content so I think 
think it's fine even though it could be better. Also, I mean, of course graphics are shit, but this is not the point of this application, so I can let it slide, but it would be a good plus to be in a good environment, you know? <laughs>